So Intel's eighth generation CPUs, codenamed Coffee Lake, are just around the corner. And new CPU generations are always accompanied by new motherboards and chipsets. And this launch is no exception. Now, huge thanks to MSI, who have very kindly given me the opportunity to preview one of their Z370 motherboards before the official launch. I'm not allowed to bring you any benchmarks due to NDA, but I am allowed to show you the board and talk you through some of its features. And here it is. This is the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. So looking at the board, it's full ATX size. And while most of the board shares the features with previous generations, the power delivery has been changed to take full advantage of the new CPUs. MSI have also added more power phases to get better overclocking, but I can't give you any details about that at the moment because that is also under NDA. Now there are four DDR4 dim slots there, which have this steel reinforcement around, which is really nice. These will hold up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. Now it has three full-size PCI Express 3.0 slots there, there, and there, allowing for two-way SLI or three-way crossfire. An SLI bridge is also included, which is great, and you can take advantage of SLI. Two of these PCI slots here and here, they're reinforced with steel armor, um, which is great because graphics cards are getting a lot bulkier and heavier these days. And there's also three PCI Express times one slots for other peripherals. There are two M.2 slots, which are here and here. Now this one has the M.2 shield on it, which has thermal pad underneath, which uh, will protect your M.2 drive from overheating. For the RGB lovers out there, MSI have included their Mystic Light and Mystic Like Sync which allows you to sync your RGB effects and colors all with one click, or by use of the Mystic Light app from a mobile device. Now there's also something special. Not only are there two RGB headers on the board, but one of these is a new header called Rainbow. Now this differs from the norm in that Rainbow allows control of individual LEDs on the RGB strip rather than controlling them all at once. This will give a huge amount of different effects and different color combinations that could be created. And you get extension cables for both types included in the box. Now, having worked together with Corsair in the past, MSI have now integrated a new three pin header onto the board dedicated for Corsair Link. It's gonna be interesting to see what features this is gonna to bring to the already excellent Corsair Link software. And you do get an included cable for this also. Now for audio, MSI have included Audio Boost 4 and the Hemic 2 Plus with an added audio cover and the gold connectors for the purest sound possible and there's also a digital output as well. Now the AC in the name refers to the fact that this comes with a Wi-Fi option. This is actually both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and comes in the form of an included PCI Express x one card. Now this is gonna take up one of these slots in the board. Also in the box are a quick start guide, a welcome leaflet reminding you to register the product with MSI, a nice big thick manual, a couple of SATA cables with some labels for marking up which one goes where, the rear IO shield which is really nicely styled, I do like to see this as opposed to just a generic metal cover, and the software disk, although you probably want to update these to the latest ones just by downloading them off the internet rather than using the disk. Now they've also made updating the BIOS even easier. With just a hit of Control F5 in the BIOS, sets the process off. On the rear I.O. panel of the board is a PS2 port, two USB 2, four USB 3.1 Gen 1, and two USB 3.1 Gen 2, one a Type A and one a Type C. For integrated video, there's a HDMI port, a display port, and for ethernet, there's a gigabit ethernet jack. The front panel connectors across the board include two USB 2 headers, two USB 3.1 headers, the usual HD audio connectors, and the usual front panel connectors here. Also on the board are four system fan headers, one CPU fan header and one CPU pump header. 
Also, there are six SATA 6 gigabyte connectors and the usual 24 pin ATX and 8 pin CPU power connectors. As far as the looks of the board go, MSI have kept with the same style as their previous Carbon series motherboards, which to my mind looks fantastic. Add to that the quality of the board, it's really sturdy and it really does look and feel like a premium product. Now as much as I'd love to give you a full summary of the board and what it can do, as I say I'm not allowed to test this out with the CPU, I'm not allowed to bring you any benchmarks, so that does remain to be seen. But let's just say so far, so good, very good. Well thanks for watching and I will see you later.